two young daughters. Holy shit. Celebrating simply Holy shit. For Father's Day this weekend. Look at that shit. You are joking. They're fucking flying the Confederate Shoot flag. Shoot him down. <laughs> Boys, here we go. I don't know what the hell we're doing here, but uh, trying to get ourselves in. Oh, boy. All right, boys, uh, we've got to go through a temperature check here, uh, and then that's all we got to do, apparently. So we got our tickets, we got everything, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just a temperature check, so hopefully we don't have a temperature. <laughs> but uh, well, We hope we have one, just not too high of one. If we're zero, we'd be dead. Thanks, Travis. Well, there we are, next checkpoint. Uh, yeah, man, this is... Uh, <laughs> a little nervous. Hope they let us in. Oh man, COVID nineteen warning. Man, this is so this is so weird, man. Like just a well, we were in Martinsville in October, man. It was business as usual, but uh, God, man, it's so weird. Okay, we we made it through. Ignore the forehead crease of the wearing my hat all damn day. We got a little uh, we got a little green thingies, so that means we're good. Uh, they scanned us. They didn't really give us the results, they just handed us the green thing and we're good to go. So, oh brother, I'm gonna be fogging my damn sunglasses all damn day. <laughs> Tell you that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alrighty. This is uh, pretty unreal. Can't believe I'm a Talladega wearing a damn mask because we've got a damn pandemic going on. But uh, hopefully, we get a good race in today. But, don't uh, give him time to change his mind, you dumbass. This is good work. Yeah. So far, it weren't, wasn't really that bad. You just go in there, they ask you some questions, you've been exposed. Uh, as far as we know, no. Uh, haven't shown any symptoms. They checked the temperature. Haven't been around any loose women. Yeah, you also asked me if I've been around any loose women, so we, we checked, we, we, got, we hit all the check marks. <laughs> so it's, uh, there's a parking lot. Everything's pretty separated pretty well. You're supposed to go in at designated times. This damn face mask is going to fog up my glasses all damn day. But, uh, it's a bad, nice day out. But, uh, it's about a time for our designated time to go in, so there we go. Alright, boys making our way in. Some kind of gentleman is handing out actually clear bags. I had a fucking Walmart bag. So, that was very nice. Apparently, the restrictions are pretty rough. You can't bring in any coolers or anything. And if you bring in anything yet, it has to be clear. I always bring my backpack so I can bring in cameras and stuff. Um, but that you have to have a clear backpack. And like, who the fuck has those? So I mean, we're uh, we're, we're down to the fanatics bag. All right. All right, we made it in. Uh, whole ticket process going back here. Pretty normal. Uh, if anything, it's uh, it's kind of less strict. We got a uh, we got bags. We got hand sanit free hand sanitizer, clear clear bags. <laughs> so now we got two of them. Yay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already starting to have a hard time breathing, but uh, I've never been here, man. I'm super excited to see this damn track for the first time. This place is already pretty damn massive. So with concessions now, you kind of pick out your own stuff and you just take it up here and get it. I uh, got me a little drinky poo here. Uh, have a good time here today. Travis getting something, I don't know what the hell's going on. Boys, we fucking made it. Look at this place. Hell yeah. Jesus. Alright, so here's the official uh, sandwich you bought here. You can't buy a whole lot of food, but this is what you got. What'd you get? Ham and cheese? Turkey and cheese. Turkey and cheese, alright. Oh, oof. That's tough. Hey, look at that. You got your hand sanitizer, you got your koozies, you got your mustard. Yeah. It's a great day. And you... What? What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I know. I cut you off. Yeah. What were you going to say? Well, they took every little bit of manhood we had and just ripped yeah. it apart at the gate. Yeah, that's very true. Hey, I tell you this, though. Getting in here and doing things hadn't been too hard. They're just, uh, they're pretty lenient with everything. So you kind of come in, show them your stuff. As long as you're not, uh, you don't got no symptoms. You're good. But, uh, man, I'm telling you what, I've never been here before. It's my first go. This place is massive. It's about, it's way cooler than what I thought I would have. Jeez, but I had a stroke. It's so damn cool. <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool, man. I'll tell you that. Starcom is not out yet. What the hell did you, oh, no. Oh, you hate to see it. There you go. It's still good. 
copy and paste it there on the dam. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I gotta say, they could have done a better job with the concessions, I'd say. Yeah. Well, boys, the good news is, apparently if you're sitting down, you can take your mask off or whatever once you get all seated and everything and you're separated from everybody. At least that's the moon head policy. Now. Yeah. The, the only problem is, it looks like it's about a fucking Welcome storm, to really bad. Oh, hello there. Yeah, no problem. Great to be here. People come to ensure the safety of our guests, our employees, the drivers, and so the whole crowd isn't quite here yet, but uh, we got Star coming out here, boys. Look at the field. Yeah, not quite everybody's here, but uh, I think has got some paint scheme under front of looking paint scheme today. But uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get to the start, man. That kind of sucks, but uh, man, it's crazy to be here, I'll tell you that. Well, sunny beaches, they're telling everybody to get out the damn grandstands because there's a threat of lightning. We don't need SWAT team to get me out of my seat. I ain't leaving. I worked oh, too damn geez. hard to get up to somebody to say shit somewhere. <laughs> I felt oh, that. Boy. I felt that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody's kind of looking around. I don't know, man. I don't think you're going to get everybody out the damn grandstand. Yeah, they'll come yell at us. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to live this up, man. It's a cool ass view. Worst comes to worst, I'll get down and get, get another beer. It's probably going to be a long damn. Ah, oh, it's fucking. This is my luck, man. Get to go to Talladega, man. Happen to be within the area of 150 miles at the time and uh, get a ticket and uh, it's raining. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off before I get a copyright strike. Thank you. Oh, shit. Alright, I just took a piss. I got all the uh, urinals, every other urinal marked off. And same with the toilets. So, distancing in the bathroom, but it is raining. It's raining good. But uh, yeah, pretty gnarly storm, got a lot of lightning and stuff. The thunder sounds pretty cool with the grandstands, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just kind of sprinkling right now, real windy though, it's really gonna pour here for a minute. And I think it'll kind of wind itself down here pretty quickly, I hope. I don't know. Oh man, it's Okay, it really started raining now. Holy shit. It's raining sideways. Holy shit. <laughs> God, this sucks. Damn. Okie doke. Hey, you got the time? <laughs> Hold on a second. 300, 300, 306. 306 o'clock. <laughs> uh, it has stopped raining, but it looks like it's going to rain again. Um, it's very puddly. So, uh, yeah, it sucks. We can't do anything right. Alright, so the track's drying, right? But that like, so what the fuck is this? And it's moving. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, we got a uh, mega Italian style. And uh, it's fucking dark again. Jesus. Well, uh, everybody just let out a, a fuck. Uh, they, uh, they just canceled it. Well, they canceled. They postponed it. So, well, that sucks. See you tomorrow, I guess. Mother damn. Well, guys, we'll be back tomorrow. That sucks. <laughs> Man, it was a really pretty day there for like ten minutes, and then it fucking rained. So uh, everybody's waddling out. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just going to be a free-for-all tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. So, alright. Real quick while we're at it. I don't know if you're ever going to listen to it or be able to, to, to experience it. Maybe one day. 
uh, we recorded Gasol's podcast uh, live, right? Well, not live, but pre-recorded here. So here's our setup. We just basically had our mic in the middle, <laughs> and uh, I have my laptop here recording it. And we had a GoPro set up right in the middle of the dash, and it uh, it died eventually at some point during it. So you'll have video for like 75% of it. So. Uh, we tried. <laughs> we <laughs> many, did. Many red lights were almost run too, and I'd slam on the brakes, and then the camera would. Be, it was. It's probably the worst podcast you've ever heard. It probably. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, we got here just in time. It's starting to rain. Yeah. So. All right, Monday it is. Damn. Tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So uh, they told us uh, we went to the first gate. Uh, same setup. Just go in here and gonna take your temperature again the only thing that's different is uh we don't got to go in at certain times we can just go in the gates just open we can go in whenever the hell we want so whoa nascar what time is it 12 o'clock central it's weird saying that yeah. so uh yeah we got a couple hours we got here a little bit earlier this time this time we can just go right the hell in so i guess we're gonna walk around a little bit i kind of want to see what's going on so that's kind of what it's looking like you got people on both sides taking temps and uh, just a little, uh, hey, you've been around anybody with Rona lately? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is kind of the setup. Not a whole lot of people here early, so, uh, yeah. Socially distancing, parking edition. And keeping everybody separated there. So, there's not a really a whole lot of people here. It's, uh, obviously there wasn't a whole lot of people here yesterday. It's going to be a lot less even today, so. Here we go, boys. Free hand sanitizer. Hell yeah. Well, give me some right here. Try to go in. So we got some merch on site. We got official license merchandise. And Chase Elliott, go figure. <laughs> I got a Talladega shirt. I don't know what the hell Travis is buying. Alright, this stupid bastard bought a fanny pack. And it don't fit him, so he's wearing it as a necklace. <laughs> Yeah. It's, a, it's an official Dega fanny pack. Yeah. 12 bucks. Um, I figured they'd make them accommodating to plus size folks, but apparently not. <laughs> well, hey, that works. Guys, one special thing about Talladega is they got the start fish line all the way down here. Sorry, I had to do that. Wow. Neat. Boys, we back. It's hot as shit. And, uh, yeah, so the big news uh, about the noose uh, kind of came over last night. And it's uh, been on the social media all damn day, man. They got the uh, hashtag I stand with Bubba, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie. I thought it was going to be on this side, but it's not. So, uh, yeah, man, we're in for a hell of a pre-race. So, shout to Bubba, man. Hey, guys, look. That's the Fox drone. Cool. About 30 minutes away from getting this thing going, man. Everybody's coming up, all the drivers coming up. Talking to Bubba, cool guys. Very damn cool, man. Boys. Look at this right here, man. We should shut the damn music off. Hell yeah. Love to see it, man. Look at this. That's everybody, man. That's good stuff. That really is. Wish we had a bigger crowd. Well, just about every single crew guy and driver has made their way to the end of pit road, man. They're playing this damn music, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Our plans from yesterday, so moving our GEICO 500 to today and we are about ready to begin 
pre-race ceremonies here. Of course, you probably have noted by now, down along Pit Road towards the exit of it, we have all kind of gathered together right around Richard Petty and Petty Motorsports number 43, along with the King, standing there right beside his driver, Bubba Wallace. It has been a... Uh, it's been an interesting time here uh, as we are related to COVID-19 and all of the extenuating circumstances that have come about since we have been able to go back racing. But the one thing that we know when it comes to racing, NASCAR is a family. And when it comes to any one of them coming under fire for whatever reason, the NASCAR family comes together. Drivers, crew members, team owners, all of the members of every single track all the way up to NASCAR's highest and the France family. We all come together, we band together because we are indeed a family. And that's what you're seeing right now, right around the number 43 car with, again, Richard Petty and driver Bubba Wallace. So again, we stand with Bubba here because we are that family here at NASCAR. And we thank you for being part of our family, you the fans here at Talladega Super Speedway as we gear up for the Geico 500. Again, pre-race ceremonies just a couple of moments away at Talladega Super Speedway. Yeah, yeah. part of the story as we welcome you back to the Talladega Super Speedway. About 45 minutes ago, every driver came from the motor coach lot, came out onto the racetrack, lined up behind the number 43 car of Bubba Wallace. Together, they pushed that car from its starting grid all the way down to the head end of Pit Road. Every team member followed. Winston Kelly, you're down there. You are a part of it. Bubba, still there with the king. Richard Petty. I tell you what, I have seen a lot of emotional, a lot of special moments. 1991 before Operation Desert Storm, when the King retired in 92, when Dale Earnhardt won in 98 and every man on every team came out on the pit road. This is up there with anything that I've ever seen. The emotions that you can feel down here, but more importantly, the support that you can feel for Bubba Wallace and the support you can feel for what is right. As you so well described, every driver a part of it. But it wasn't just part of the team members. Every single team member, and when Bubba stood up on the windowsill of his car and looked back and saw the entire garage area, his peers, you could tell he put his hands down on the top of the car and, and just you could tell the emotion. Richard Petty has always led by example and actions, not with a lot of words. At 82 years young and in that classification to be concerned about COVID-19, the King said, I wouldn't be anywhere else. So this is where I needed to be for my driver, for my race team, and for NASCAR. This is one memorable moment for all the right reasons to support people in this sport and to include everybody in this sport. Motor Sports, please welcome NASA astronaut and the first SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft commander, Doug Hurley. Wow. Hello, cool. Talladega Super Speedway fans. I am NASA astronaut Doug Hurley, and I would love to be there with you in person today, but I'm currently aboard the International Space Station, wow. orbiting 250 miles above the Earth. My friend and crewmate Bob Bankin and I arrived at the station on the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. This mission marks the first time that NASA astronauts have launched from United States soil in nine years. For the next few months, we will live and work aboard the station, orbiting at a speed of over 17,000 miles per hour. That's five miles a second. NASA has also revved up science engines to take auto racing to a whole new level. NASA technologies are used by race teams to improve performance and safety. From rockets to race cars, and on behalf of the entire crew here on station, drivers, start your engines! Yeah! Alright! 
Well, somebody's waiting gonna start for the 40 cars what to come to life. That's going to happen in a moment. Oh, there's somebody. All right, cool. Thank you. From over 200. Here we go, gentlemen. Oh, ye. It's happening. Hell yeah. I'm so pumped right now. Oh, man. This is going to be fucking awesome. Chance to do qualifying here. Tim and Nose! They will be a competition. Caution! That's gonna A few moments later. Sideways again. Jesus H. Oh boy. Wow. Let's get over there. Let's get over there. Well, boys, it's actually sunny out now, but uh, there's clouds over there. There's clouds over there, and there's more shit on the way. This is stupid! Here we go again. Almost got the track dry. It's a little rough in the tri oval there, but this side, pretty good. It only really rained on half the track. <laughs> That's what happens when you got a big ass track. Go back racing for uh, like 15 minutes, I think. I don't know, we're on lap 57. And I guess we just need to get to 94, which kind of sucks. I hope it rains before we get there. I want a full damn race, damn it.
And here's Bubba Wallace walking out to see. All right, attention once again, race fans. We want to thank you so much for attending today's Geico 500 here at Talladega Super Speedway. Again, we're asking that you remain in your seats or at least in your particular area until you're instructed to exit by a member of our guest services team in order to promote social distancing. We'll start to release the seating areas in a sequential manner that starts in the lower grandstand sections. And once we get the lower grandstand sections clear, then we'll begin releasing the tower sections at that time. Again, we thank you for your cooperation. We uh, thank you once cool. again for visiting us here at Talladega Super Speedway. It's been tough. It's, it's, been, it's been hell. Really? It's, hell. it's just been hectic, you know, carrying his weight, carrying his burden. I wouldn't really say burden either. I'm proud to stay where I'm at and carry a new face. Look at this. First time right here from Atlanta. That is so cool. The sport is changing. Um, the deal that happened yesterday, sorry I'm not wearing my mask, but I wanted to show whoever it was that you're not going to take away my smile. And uh, I'm going to keep on going. I, uh, I've been a part of this sport for a really long time. Uh, still kind of a rookie. Starting to figure this play stuff out. We had a good race going today at our victory junction Chevrolet. But, um, man, I know I should have won that damn race. We ran out of gas. <laughs> um, just the stars didn't align for us completely, but uh, all in all, we won today. The, the pre-race deal, the pre-race deal was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to witness in my life. From uh, all the supporters, from drivers, from crew members, uh, everybody here, uh, the badass fan base. Thank you guys for coming out here. Hell yeah! Like I said, I got a long way to go, and uh, we'll keep on trucking. Another top 15 for us, we'll take it, and uh, we'll just go on to Pocono, right? Okay, Pocono. So, hey, I'm still smiling. Long week ahead of me, probably a couple weeks, probably a couple months. Courtney's going to lay some uh, interviews on me, so I'll be ready for Pocono, though. Thanks, Bubba. Well done. Hell yeah. Bubba Wallace, 15th today. Got up to the front, they knew he was here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving Talladega. Got my fanny pack. <laughs> All right, well, uh, quick recap. It took us two days, but... Uh, can I zoom in? No, I can't do that. Okay, I just got to move that. Uh, we got it in. It took us two days. Um, what did you think? Did you have a good time? How was the experience? Overall I enjoyed experience? it. Like I was telling you, the uh, this package is, like, really, really scary to walk. Oh, boy. Really, uh scary to watch uh, especially after the ending to the 500 mm -hmm. but looking back like knowing that everybody's okay and everything after all that um that was an all-time classic that was great um and how was your experience with the covid at the trek honestly i kind of liked it more nothing there weren't hardly any lines and you could put your feet up on the next row so I don't know. It, it really it wasn't as big of a pain in the ass as I thought it'd be. I thought they'd go like way overboard with everything, but yeah, they found a nice balance. Yeah, I'm the same same way. I mean, obviously there wasn't a whole lot of people here, which, I mean, honestly, it was pretty nice. You go in, you get your temperature checked. That was really bad. If you pass, you're good to go. I, 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 can't, I don't I don't know if anybody failed or not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll get the email. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> next the, week. Yeah. Uh, but uh, other than that, concessions was pretty cool. There wasn't a whole lot of fun stuff to eat except for these little sandwiches you could buy. <laughs> Um, but uh, they just had it all set out. You, you pick out what you want. You go and then you pay for it. Um, I only went to bat. I only pissed here once, but they were they were, <laughs> they uh, separated all the stalls and everything, which I mean should be pissing next to anybody directly the urinals anyway. So um, yeah, other than that, everybody was walking around with masks for the most part, uh, except for you know when you're in your parties and stuff and when you're seated for the race. So uh, all in all, it was really good. And once again, it wasn't totally crowded, so it worked out. So. Uh, we'll be there for Bristol, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I, I, I guess I'm going to end it here. I, uh, something is, stupid will probably happen. Yeah, something stupid always happens. And then I'll vlog that too. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we had a great time. Phenomenal race. Uh, my first experience with a Super Speedway race, which was absolutely ridiculous, man. Incredible view, man. The speeds of four wide. Uh, I had an absolute blast. Um, so I definitely want to come back sometime. I absolutely want to try out Daytona sometime soon. So, um, all right then. They want to work together and we have meetings all week, you know, to figure out.
know what to do. There's like that second note in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that it? Yeah, same note. No, yeah. that's so weird. It's just that little stretch. <laughs>